Hey everyone, so today we have this nice desktop that we want to take a look at. We're just going to be actually diagnosing it. Um, it's a pretty interesting issue that does happen. It does turn on, it does work, but when you do anything intensive at all, anything, like graphically intensive, it will just shut down on you. So we want to actually see what it is. It sounds like a graphics card, uh, if that's usually the case, or some type of thermal issue. But uh, we want to see for ourselves at least what it is and uh, how we will diagnose it. Um, the first thing, uh, any type of diagnosis, is to ask questions and to see what the customer sees. So uh, if we do know that it turns on and they start to play a game and then it all just automatically shuts off, we can at least start with that. So we know it's going to at least turn on. Um, and we want to just narrow down what the issue could be. So let's actually go ahead and try it out. All right. So. We see here, uh, there's, we want to do always a visual inspection. There, we don't see anything out of the ordinary. Everything looks to be plugged in fine. Um, we do see the power, we do see that the power supply. I want to see, here's a graphics card, power supply. Um, Astro power supply, I'm not really sure what it is. There's no uh, rating or anything on it, but it's 500 watts. So we have 500 watt, and we have a GeForce GTX. Uh, usually it says it on here. So we have a 1660. And you can always see it says it like on top, there's like a wrapper that might say on top or like a barcode on there. So we see it's a 1660 and we do see that. So what we want to do is at least uh, plug it in and we want to plug it into our test monitor. First, we'll just see if there's power and we definitely want to plug it into the, the cart. We don't want to plug it into the processor because we don't care about the processor. We really care about the cart because the cart's usually what gives you problems, right? So let's plug it in. And what we want to do, we want to change our little... So, I guess let's see if it just powers on. So, let's power it on. Alright, we do see some good power there. It's plugged in, the lights, nice fancy RGB. Okay, it's booting up. It's really nice, cool. Let's go ahead and plug in a mouse, too, so we can at least navigate. And probably need a keyboard, too, right? So, let's just do that. We do get a display. It's going fine. Uh, I don't want to show you this is a customer's uh, desktop. Uh, let's at least get to... Let's see here. So we're looking at the temperatures, just idle right now. Uh, we just running something like hardware monitors, pretty good. It's free software you can use. So we want to look at CPU and we want to also look at GPU, see if there's anything crazy right now. 3740 Celsius right now, which is fine, I idle. Um, the NVIDIA card is 32 degrees Celsius idle. So those are pretty good too. All right, now what we want to do is we want to leave this up. We can take a look and I like to run this graphically intensive test. Uh, it's like a fur mark. It's a it's a real good good thing to use. It's good for a GPU test to use. I'll show you that. It actually looks kind of creepy, so don't get too creeped out if you do see it or get too phased out by it. But um, it's a creepy little thing. It looks like, but it does a really good job of testing the GPU. Like every. I think every repair shop has their own little diagnostic tool set up, so it's easier to test any type of uh, issue, diagnose it. But let's actually get this camera here. What were we doing? It's a GPU test. I actually skipped <laughs> this is in the cu customer's information. All right, so we have our disk here, and I have some diagnostic tools, like basic stuff. This is a good test one. I know it's a little bit older. You're, you should run updates on it. It's a Geeks 3D GPU test. It's a good one. What you're going to do is you pick a resolution and it's going to have this little creepy thing that comes in. It's a GPU burn test. Uh, it's a good way to actually go ahead and check it out. Um, you don't need to see details. Now. I'm just running 1080p. I want to run full screen. You'll see the full screen once it comes up. So you saw that right when I ran it, it just died automatically. Uh, actually, it's restarting now. So this is going to pop up with a display and it's going to go back. It looks like to a cycle there. All right, so we have a Asus. So it looks like it restarted. All right, so that did have, it did say, so right when I touched it with a GPU test, an intensive test, it just automatically just restarted. It did not die, it restarted. So something like that, um, it can give you, that's definitely an issue. It can be a video card. Um, we want to test it out to make sure that it isn't a video card. And we want to make sure because especially this, this time nowadays, you want to be very thorough. Uh, it's very hard to get an actual video card in. Um, we want to make sure that we actually do see um, that happen again on this device. So what we're going to do, uh, a restart, it can be other things too. Uh, it's a restart. I don't believe it's any type of software or anything like that. What we'll do is we will take out the video card itself and then we will plug in another one just to go ahead and make sure. 
that's not the exact issue. Uh, if you see it running, most likely it still can be the issue, but we could do that first just to make sure just to eliminate that and then that it's not just a GPU. So let's go ahead and what we'll do is we will just install. We have a test one here. So what we're going to do, um, whenever you do unplug anything, obviously you want to make sure you hold the power button a little bit because sometimes you even see board lights could still be on. Stuff can still be on there. Right, and sometimes when you remove the power cable, you want to make sure that you do hold down the power button for just a little bit because there still could be some power. You want to make sure you flush it out. Uh, this one doesn't look too difficult, so you want to make sure you remove the video card here. And we'll see if that's a potential issue. We'll take out this, and there should be like a little flap under here. Let me push out some of these models. So be really careful. I don't want to go crazy with it. But there's a latch there. All right, so some of these have a latch. It's like a little piece of a little right here. It's a little latch. All right, so we take out the video card. The video card isn't that hot. Uh, I mean, it's not that hot. The video chip could still be dying, but we just we can test it anyway just to be sure. And we do have the only thing I don't like about this is when you have something like this, right? So we have this one. Now the thing is, this one doesn't, we're not exactly replicating it because we're still missing this cable. Um, so this is the one I have to test. Man, you guys know the struggle. It's a seven, we have a GT710 here. And I'm just gonna plug this one in. Doesn't have actual power requirements, which can, because you're not replicating exactly the issue, it can give you false information, but we just wanna see if this is gonna make any difference at all. Is it, is it still gonna do this when I do this? Um, or is it just going to be totally fine when I run that, that weird test? But, all right, so we will plug this in. Make sure that this is plugged in. But usually a restart, I don't think this is going to be an issue, but we can always try it. So we go ahead, we'll plug it in. Turn it back on. You see it's getting, okay, it displays on. Now I'll put the camera there too. I'm going to show the customer's name. Don't show those documents either. Wait till I run the test, or at least get to that full screen part. All right, so I guess we can start. I guess you could show this. I'm not showing anything yet. Oops, no, no, <laughs> don't show that one. Um, and don't show these folders, just once I open up the program. All right, so we're gonna try this again, and we'll run it at 1080p, which is fine. And we'll see if anything different happens. Full screen. There's a creepy test. Ah, look at that. I mean, it's a 710, so it's not gonna be the greatest performance. Obviously, there's lag, but you did notice it's not turning off. But I don't know about you, you guys, but I'm not totally convinced on this one because we aren't totally replicating the issue where the cable. So it's still on. There we go. So we aren't representing the issue because this cable still isn't plugged in. And obviously I don't really trust uh, random name power supplies too. So we, we're not, we can't be 100% sure it's still on. You can see it hasn't restarted yet and it's the thing's still going. So I think we at least eliminated nothing because we could still have the same issue um, when we plug in. I'm sure if we plug in that card again, you're going to have the same issue, but I'm not 100% convinced that's the card. We can test out the card, plug it in on another machine, and see if it is giving the same problem. But we have tools here, and we want to actually use what we do have here. So I want to run one more test because um, it's, it's always something. I'm not totally convinced that that's the actual issue there with the graphics card. I mean, we can plug in another machine just see if it does work. Uh, that, that's one way. But we want to test this machine. I want to test his actual machine and his desktop. Uh, we don't want to get false alarms to ourselves. So what I want to do is I want to plug in back the graphics card. And what I want to do is I just want to swap out. Uh, we have a power supply here. I just want to swap that out. Um, it's really easy, especially to test um, with a power supply because you really just need uh, two or three connections for it. You don't have to boot to a hard drive or anything like that. You want to just test um, just to see if at least the board turns on and the graphics card all turns on. But this we need to log into an operating system too. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the, the original card and we're going to pretend like this didn't happen because if we at least saw this, we can eliminate a few different things. Um, if you saw it turn off right away, then we definitely know it's not a graphics card problem and there's definitely 100% something else. Um, but since that didn't do it, 
though um, and, then, and since I didn't do it we just want to test one more thing before I go too crazy moving multiple things but I think this would be fine so what we're gonna do we're gonna shut this off and we are going to swap out we're not really swap out we're gonna leave everything in because this is an easier thing to do we we'll make sure this turns off and then we're going to replace uh, the power supply and see if that changes anything differently with it uh, because it has been restarting and not exactly turning off, then um, I'm hoping it's more of that because sometimes there could be like a power surge or maybe there's a voltage that will go to the actual card itself. Maybe that would do it and that would be the reason why it's restarting and not turning off. So let's see. Come on, turn off. You can see a little green light too, so might as well come on. Alright. So with this we have our we just have like a Corsair. It's nice, uh, CX six fifty M. It's nice to have a module one switch for a test because you can you don't have to use all the cables, you could just use ones that you want to put in, so it's a modular. So, whenever we do something like this, we want to, we can pop out this old one here. Okay, take that out. Put it to the side. We'll put the original one back in. It's nice to put a screw in here too so you can hold it so it doesn't wobble when you plug it in and short everything and then you have <laughs> multiple issues to deal with so all right so for these uh, whenever you do just want to test even a board or anything or a power supply good way to do it you just remove uh, the 24 pin here and there's also a four pin you want to remove here make this simple for yourself what's that oh it's blocking so we want to remove those two because this is the power to the CPU and this is the main power to the motherboard. So this will at least turn it on, these two things. And it's it's very hard to get them screwed up because most of the time when you get uh, semi-modular, you're going to always have those ones that just plug in anyway. So you plug, we can plug in the main 24 pin and then we can plug in just the four pin over there. So we're just replacing what we did and it'll at least turn on, at least give something. But we also want the PCIe one for our nice graphics card because that's what we want to test we don't want to test really anything else so if I put this in okay now we need one for our card and uh, we're pretty much going on on the idea that this is a hardware problem uh, a software problem when restarted especially if you're running like a GPU test it's not going to be restarting or anything like that if you were booting maybe a specific, uh, I wouldn't be doing it anyway. We're worried about mainly the hardware issue. Uh, we're going to replicate it to make sure that's not this. So because I don't really want to go in the back there, unplug and use the same type of SSD and plug more connections in, I do have a bootable device here I can plug in. Okay, I have our USB. I actually made one of our previous ones. It's a Windows to go USB. Windows 10 to go. So this is a great time to use something like this. Go ahead and check out our other video with it. Uh, we'd show you how to actually make one of these. So what it's going to do is it's going to just basically be an operating system just to at least test everything on um, and go from there. We can run exactly what we ran before, the little firmware thing. So let's see. Let me go plug it in. Let's turn it on and you'll see it'll come on. No problem. Because all we need to do is connect a few things. Now, we're not testing any of his hard drives or anything else that's connected, especially if he has peripherals and lights, but we don't really care at this point for it. So, let's turn it on. It's a little sloppy, but it's fine because it will just work. You notice that the fans won't turn on here because the fans aren't connected to the actual power supply, but we don't care because we have an open system. Um, we just want to get a mainly a, a display for it. So, I didn't plug in the HDMI, but. Okay. 
So you boot it to the USB. And skip this part until I get to the actual USB. All right, we're gonna go use this one because we do have it available. You can see it's really hard to see, but it does say uh, GeForce uh, GTX 1660. It shows a 32 degrees Celsius. This one's actually better. It's always better to get the latest one. This bootable actually does have the latest one. So, uh, oops, I want that. And it's a free software too you could use. Pretty cool. Go ahead and check it out. And we would just want to go 1080p. You can see the cards in there, and we want to see if it's going to do the same thing with the new power supply. So it's just stress the GPU. As is up, it's very intensive. Make sure that you're doing it at your own risk. Yep, that's the point. So we want to make sure we can turn this thing off. So you can see this is the vortex. Man, don't want to enter this hole here because you might get lost forever. But anyways, it's running, and so far that there is no shutoffs or anything. Uh, the temperature is climbing. It's about 48C right now. GPU usage is about 98%. So it does a good job of at least explaining it here. So uh, we we kind of want to eliminate. It looks like it's more of a power supply problem because of what we are are hearing and what we're what we know about it. But so far it's running. It looks to be pretty good. All right. So it's still going here. Uh, we're going to test a little bit further, but it does really look like that it is going to be a power supply problem. Um, something most of the time, if it just shut off and there was nothing else, uh, that might be more of a GPU problem. But the restart is usually some type of maybe issue with the power supply there. Maybe the GPU is actually um, giving, it's not getting enough power from the power supply. So what it can be doing is it can just be uh, restarting itself and then it'll power itself back on. You can see that uh, sometimes, especially when you do have a graphics card, you, it does require a lot more power. And whenever you play a game or anything, you'll see that the voltage can jump completely, um, especially skyrocket and go really high. Especially there's a lot of other things. There's not a whole lot going on in here, but especially if you do notice, that's why it's really important to get a very high in power supply. Make sure you do get something that, that is at least 80 plus rated. We recommend at least 80 plus bronze. Um, for this instance, it looks like we will be uh, suggesting to the customer, we'll give them a call, let them know that the graphics card looks to be fine. There doesn't seem to really be an issue with it because we're running with it. I'm sure he'll be at least relieved <laughs> because of that, but there does seem to be a problem with the power supply and we can at least swap that out. The thing, the big difference is, is the price here and we want to be thorough. So um, that's why you always want to test, even though we did see that our GPU didn't give an issue but we weren't exactly replicating exactly what was in there because usually that's a good test GPU if you would see something go out. Um, it's just a nice PCIe card that just goes in there. There's no actual extra power requirement that goes where it does plug in through the, the GPU. It, it has a separate uh, GPU plug-in for itself. That one didn't have it. So this one makes a lot more sense, especially if we do that and uh, you plug this one in and it seems to be working fine and we just replaced the power supply and everything else seems to be running totally fine. So we'll let the customer know that it does need a power supply and it just needs to be at replaced. I'm sure he'll be very relieved that he <laughs> doesn't need a card. Especially, man, I'm relieved too. Because you don't want to tell someone that you need a card or if we need to fix a video issue or, or some type of issue with a card. So, anyways, guys, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on uh, just a quick diagnosis on kind of how we think and how we process here. And you can see some of it can be a bit, um, it is good time consuming. Some of it can be a little bit more. It does take a bit of time, but we always want to be thorough, especially if you think it's one thing and then it's it's not. So when you come in, you would assume that it's maybe a graphics chip, a graphics card, because of just the way the nature of the graphics chip is. It usually does fail. There's a lot of heat, especially if you play a lot of games. They do fail very often. You don't see the power supplies as much, but in certain builds, uh, you, uh, they can do that. And you can see, um, especially to restart anything like that, um, if you're having any power issues or you hear any clicks or any clanks in that th in that power supply, that's usually what it is too. But uh, you just get a little bit of an eye of on how we do our diagnosis here and on how we do repairs and how we let clients know um, that their one issue isn't what they think. Especially we understand that there's there's a definitely a graphics card crisis and fully aware of all of that. But um, we're really glad that it's not that and that's a gap and that it's just the, the the power supply that's wrong. With anyways guys thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed watching this video on uh, just doing a quick diagnosis and uh, for power supply and that it wasn't actually a GPU problem and really hope you guys enjoyed watching hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like if you really did enjoy watching it really does help us a lot we're almost at 5,000 so definitely hit that subscribe button too and uh, check out our store we have everything located in the links in the description below code please check that out and uh, have a good one bye